Hi, good morning, kids. So today we are going to learn lesson one of science subject. It's living and non-living non things. I have prepared slides. Uh, so we'll go through one by one. And uh, at the end, we will have a quiz. There are five questions in the quiz. I will explain you one by one. And uh, after this, like if you will have any questions, you can post that your questions in this uh, in the comment section of the video. And whenever I'll get questions, I'll, I'll make them reply. Okay. Thank you. Let's start. And and one more thing uh, for for the success of this program, uh, I would like uh, your full attention and focus. So stay tuned. Okay. Let's start. So kids, let's start with the lesson: living things and non-living things. So uh, first we will take living things, and then we will go to non-living things. So living things are the things where, as per definition, they can breathe, eat, grow. They can move from one place to another, they produce, they reproduce and they have senses. So examples of human, of living things are human beings, plants, insects, birds, animals, bacteria. So they are, they all are living things. Now we will discuss in detail. So living things mean the, means the things which have life. So uh, they, they give birth to another one. So if we say that human beings. So human beings, they give birth to another human being. It, it means they reproduce. They breathe. Breathe means they take oxygen to survive. They need food to eat. They will grow time to grow grow from uh, from kid to young people, young to adult, and then after a certain time they will die. So and they have senses. So there are different types of senses that we will cover later in other other lesson. So examples of human beings, human beings are, uh, human beings are like men, women, kids. So they are, they all are human beings like you, like me, like your father, mother. So they are human beings, plants, insects, birds, animals, bacteria, they all have life. And so they are living things. So now we understand what are living things. Living things have, uh, have life. They grow, they grow from one stage to another stage. They reproduce, they have senses and they take oxygen to breathe, they will grow and they move from one place to another place. So human beings, they, uh, they breathe through nose and if we, if, we, uh, if we take example of plants, they breathe through stomata. Now comes to the, now we will discuss uh, non-living things. So opposite to living things is a non-living things. So they cannot breathe, they don't eat, they don't grow with time, they don't reproduce and don't have senses. So they are they because they don't have life. They are man-made things and that's why they are non-living things. So example of non-living things are toys, your car, your cycle. So they are all non-living things. Now let's discuss the difference between living and non-living things. So living things, we already discussed that they have senses to feel and react to the external world. And for non-living things, they don't have senses, so they, they cannot uh, feel and they cannot react. So their reaction is not natural. They grow with time, living things grow with time as they have life. But in case of non-living things, they cannot grow. They don't grow, so they cannot, because they are not alive, they, they don't have life. Living things depends on food, air and water for their survival but, but non-living things they don't need anything for their survival. For living things they reproduce and die but uh, because they because uh, non-living things they don't have life so then they don't reproduce and they don't die also. Example of living things are plants, animals, birds, human but uh, an example of non-living things are toys, car, etc. Now let's uh, let's this uh, come to the section. Let's discuss the quiz time. Uh, questions in the quiz time. So uh, so first question is plant breathe through dash present on their leaves. So uh, options are holes, stomata, leaves, pores. So I have already told you like human breathe through nose but plants breathe through stomata present on their leaves. So second option is the correct option. Car is a dash thing. So car is car is doesn't have life. So it is a non-living thing. Baby cannot move from one place to another place. So move. So it is a 
living thing because because it has life so baby has life so it is a living thing next question is dash through that things respond and adapt to their environment is a living thing the, this section is interesting section where uh, actions are uh, jotted down and we have to tell whether they are living or non living things so breathe is so living things breathe moves both can move eat so living things only eat uh, needs air so living things needs air so this this you can refer and solve the question at the end i would i would like to tell you about the app which i have developed it is a olympia app so, uh, uh, so you can download this app and uh, there 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 are two sections in this uh, in this app uh, this is a practice test and mock test and you can solve those uh, questions and